There is a famous proverb that says the early bird catches the worm. So much so that it's safe to say waking up at 4 a.m. versus waking up at 6 to 8 a.m. like most of us do makes a much bigger difference than you might think. Here are 5 good reasons successful people wake up at 4 a.m. Let's get into it. But first, don't forget to hit subscribe. Number 5. People who wake up at 4 a.m. get real freedom. Work, exercise, social media, kids, laundry, dishes, Netflix. The average person always has one too many things that they need to get done in one day. Well, unless you are extremely successful and can hire multiple people to do those things for you, you will need the discipline, willpower, and time management skills to live a well-balanced life. And according to a lot of successful people, the key to this balance is by waking up at 4 a.m. This is what Apple CEO Tim Cook, action star Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and former First Lady Michelle Obama all have in common. And they are not alone. For one, waking up at this hour can help you tick some items off that to-do list of yours and you can do this without distractions and pressure. Work does not begin for another 4 hours. So if you need at least an hour to get to work, you still have 3 hours of pure freedom. Unlike work or errands that are made up of multiple lists, schedules, deadlines, and appointments, you get to spend this time on your terms, and what you choose to spend it on is completely up to you. Some prefer to read or get a head start with work. Some prefer to prep all today's meals in the kitchen while having a hot cup of coffee. Some choose to spend it in meditation and stillness, while some choose to exercise, to wake up their mind and body some more, just like The Rock who hits the gym at 4 a.m. daily. Have a few hours to yourself where you can just be completely free and uniquely you. Now isn't that how you would want to start every day? Number 4. If you wake up at 4 a.m., your brain and body can wake up slow. Living in the digital age can be quite exhausting for our brains and sooner or later our bodies will have no choice but to catch up. Don't get me wrong, digital stimulation such as binge watching TV shows, scrolling through social media, or creating TikTok videos are all fun, stimulating, and relaxing activities when done once in a while. But please know that participating in these mindless activities during your time of supposed rest or unconsciously losing sleep because of these may lead to bigger issues in motivation and productivity later on. It's because even if our bodies are physically at rest, our minds are still processing information constantly. Even while we sleep, even more so if we are actively consuming information before we sleep and when we wake up. If we make it a habit to lose sleep over these, our brain will end up being overly stimulated and will eventually cause fatigue to our whole system. So what does this have to do with waking up early? The answer is simple. At 4 a.m., there are no distractions, no emails, meetings, group chats, work calls, friends calling you up or sending you memes. Most of them are still asleep. It's a nice time to get some fresh air as well, as there are not a lot of cars or people outside. If you can spend time in silence, doing meditative activities early in the morning, instead of consuming information like a sponge through mindless scrolling or watching, your brain and body will be able to wake up slowly just how they should. I don't know about you, but it would be empowering to believe that there's more to life than falling asleep scrolling through social media, waking up a few minutes late, rushing to work and getting an extra espresso shot or five. Our brains need some quiet time too, and just like any well-oiled machine, they need to reset and recharge daily, and they do so through silence, repetitive and meditative activities. So wake up early, fill your mornings with these activities, and rest assured, it will change your life. 
Number three. People who wake up at 4 a.m. start their day with what they are passionate about. We already mentioned quite a list of successful people earlier in the video, and a common factor among them is they wake up on or before 4 a.m. You may wonder why they are the best at what they love to do, and earn millions of dollars doing it. It could be mere luck, or maybe that's just the way things are. Maybe some of us are just really blessed with better genes than others. Science says that's only partly true. Although genes do play a role in our mannerisms, attitudes, and physical attributes, it is still those who put in the work who succeed the most. Their habits include a healthy diet, constant physical activity, giving time for rest and recreation, which means sleeping early and waking up early. They also make time for their passions and obsessions. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's body isn't just him winning a genetic lottery. Not only does he wake up early, he's already at the gym at 4 a.m. sharp, before anybody else gets there. Successful people live each day to the fullest, maximizing their time and energy for both what they are paid to do and what they are passionate about because they know each day that passes is a day that we will never experience again. So they do their best to get better and better each day. All these things require clarity, willpower, and discipline, which we all probably know is easier said than done. The logic behind this is quite simple. If you want to get better at something, wake up a few hours before everyone else, even if it's just one or two hours. Squeeze in that workout, journal, or try making that breakfast recipe you've always wanted to make. Whatever you choose to do in those extra hours, you will surely get better at it. And if you get better and better, you will most likely succeed. And you get these benefits on top of your regular workday simply because you've already made progress before the workday has even begun. Which brings us to our next item on the list. Number 2. People who wake up at 4 a.m. get increased productivity throughout the day. We've all had some not so good mornings at one point. You wake up at 5 a.m., hit snooze, and you wake up again a few minutes later and drag yourself out of the bed and into the shower. You make it to work just on time. But before you can fully function, you grab a coffee and a few extra shots of espresso, which takes about half an hour to kick in. By lunchtime, you're about ready to take a nap, but you get a second coffee instead. Doesn't seem very productive, does it? Caffeine feels great. I know this because I am a lover of coffee myself. But too much of it could lead to dependency and serious overfatigue once the caffeine in your system starts to run low. In result, you'll need more and more of it to survive the day. This could also be the reason you can sleep for 12 hours straight and still feel tired. Again, imagine the magic of waking up at 4 a.m. It is only difficult in the beginning. But according to science, there is always a way. It takes 21 days to build a habit. Yes, you hear that right, 21 days. It takes 21 days or three weeks of training your mind to sleep earlier and wake up earlier. After pushing yourself for 21 days, your brain and body will get the message and form a habit. You will never come to work looking like a caffeine deprived zombie again. You are present, alert, more likely to make good decisions, and your productivity will be at an all-time high, all because you have enough time in the morning to wake yourself up with ease. This can be done with an energizing bath, breakfast, or even a good workout. Whatever it is, don't say you don't have the time, because you do. And as you already know, 4 a.m. is a great time to get up and live. Ready for number one? Let's get to it. But first, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And remember, stay curious. Number one, people who wake up at 4 a.m. know that 10 p.m. is the perfect bedtime. In the series, How I Met Your Mother, 
Ted Mosby says, nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. But science says, it is actually 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. is the perfect time to sleep for adults, and maybe a couple of hours more for children below 16. Sleeping in this bracket does not only ensure you a full 6 hours of sleep, it is also proven that your body also produces more melatonin at this time. Melatonin is a hormone naturally produced by the brain in darkness. Melatonin is known to improve the quality of your sleep. The better the quality of your sleep, it is less likely for you to feel tired and drowsy during the day. And once you develop a healthier body clock, your mind and body will sleep and wake up like clockwork every single day. So I guess the next question is, how do we train ourselves to sleep at 10 p.m.? Here are some proven and tested tips for starters. Ditch your phone and do not watch Netflix. This will keep your brain active and may even delay the sleep cycle. You're also bound to get dark circles in the morning. Instead, play some soft meditative music or maybe just lay down in silence, meditate, and set intentions for the next day. Also, it is advisable not to have any caffeine after 3 p.m. or food after 7 to 8 p.m. So start your day at 4 a.m. Get a head start on everybody else and remember to feed your passion, no matter what it may be, before your workday begins. We assure you, it will change your life for the better. What inspires you to get up in the morning? Let us know in the comments section. This is Curious on Command, signing off, but before that, subscribe to our channel and always stay curious.